Justin, obviously this this Rays team you know, is out homering the league by a lot. Um, what is the the challenge facing a team like that when you just seem to be able to, to <clears throat> capitalize on mistakes? Yeah, I mean uh, today was a tough one, no doubt about it. Um, you know the challenge is that they're you know they're not swinging and missing much, and when you make a mistake, um, you know they they were able to capitalize on it. Um, Paredes, um, and particularly, um, you know lifted a couple to left field. Um, that unfortunately snuck out. Um, <clears throat> just uh, challenging. Not a, not a great day. Overall, what did you feel about besides the, those homers? Just how'd you feel about your day? Like, um, not a lot of positives to take out of it. Um, you know, uh, I guess the only positive is that I know I got some work to do. Um, you know, already started looking at some video, trying to find. Um, you know, I think. think I think there's a little something off of my mechanics. I need to I need to fix it, and I need to fix it in a hurry. Um, so, <clears throat> it's been plenty of times in my career where you know you find yourself a little a little off, and um, there's no panic button, especially you know my third start of the season. Um, but uh, sometimes it takes games like this to really kind of you know kick you and um, you know make you study everything that you possibly can to, to find out what's a little off. Um, but um, yeah, overall today not great. Is there anything in particular, any pitch in particular that that's been more of a challenge for you at this point early on than, than others? Um, I mean, the off-speed stuff hasn't gotten a lot of swing and miss or chase, um, which to me is a big indication that um, you know I'm not probably hiding the ball as well as I need to. Uh, you know, they did a great job today. Um, you know, not not fishing at some stuff, and then you know they, like I said, they they were they found a way to put the ball in play and. Um, got some hits, put some pressure on, and then just takes one big, you know, one big hit. Um, you know, the early one hurt, and then the second one hurt pretty bad. Um, you know, so put us really behind the eight ball, and uh, I need to be better. Just Bottom line. Reese Presley was able to get those balls out. It looked like the first one was kind of on the outer edge. And the um, I mean, there. the first one was hit 92 change. Um, I was surprised that left. I thought it was a pop-up off the bat. Um, you know, I uh, felt like the ball was carrying the left. And then the second one, it was just a matter of fair or foul. I mean, those balls right down the line, it, you know, um, if that ball squeaks just left of the foul pole, then, you know, maybe we're in the game. But you know, this isn't a game of what ifs. Um, you know, whether whether it was bad luck or I thought it would leave the yard or not, none of, none of that matters. Um, they did leave the yard. I didn't make enough pitches. I need to be better. Are you surprised at all by the reaction of the crowd? You've played in New York a lot and understand the intensity of New York, is, you know, getting booed there. I understand the fans are frustrated. Um, uh, we're frustrated too. I, I, everybody's frustrated. Um, we expect to be better. I expect to be better. I think this entire organization expects to be better. And um, you know, uh, there's only one thing left to do, and that's you know, put your head down, work hard, and and and, and find your way out of this slump. Uh, you know, I was hoping that today I could you know be the be a catalyst and go out and have a great start against a good team and and and, and help us win. And I wasn't able to do that. Um, you know, on to the next guy. And, and I know that everybody in here is, is working their ass off to do to do just that. Um, you know, I'm going to come in tomorrow and do everything that I can to, 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 to make it click for me. And, and I know that all the guys in here are working hard. But I understand the frustration totally. Physically, here, you feel okay? Uh, yeah. Besides another ball off my calf, it didn't feel great. <laughs> Justin, you touched on it earlier, but you know, our team has been kind of struggling to get consistent with the rotation. Yeah. Does that kind of add to? Kind of the hurt tonight. Yeah, yeah, it does. Um, you know, uh, I hold myself to a high standard. I expect to pitch well. I expect to, uh, you know, lift the rotation up when, when uh, they need it. And uh, I take a lot of pride in that. And um, I work my ass off for that. And to not be able to do it is, is frustrating. Yeah. Um, I know there'll be other shots though. Um, like I said, back to the drawing board. Work hard. Work as hard as I can. Put my head down and uh, fix it. Are you surprised where the team's at in mid-May, given how much talent's here, level of expectation, internal and external, going into the season? I know a lot of things can happen in a baseball season, but does this three games under May 15th surprise you? Yes. Yeah, if I'm being honest, it does. Um, I, uh, <clears throat> I thought we'd come out of the street a little better than this, um, but at the same time, you know, baseball's a long season, and you know, I don't want to give all the cliches here, but in the past few years, you've seen a lot of teams that struggled out of the gates, find it and click and 
find a way into the World Series. I mean, you look at the Nationals, you look at the Phillies last year. I mean, there's teams that they click at the right time and, and, and find, you know, find their mojo and, and, and go from there. Um, uh, I, you know, I, I think we're past the point of just waiting for that to happen, and I think we need to make it happen. Um, you know, and, and I, we have the we have the guys in here to do that. I, I look around this locker room, and I know everybody's working working their tail off, and um, you know, nobody's just complacent. I mean, everybody's everybody's doing everything that they possibly can, and um, you know, hopefully it clicks. What's been maybe the most surprising aspect for you about the way this season? I mean, I don't know if I can put my finger on it. It seems like, uh, you know, it just seems like when we've pitched, we haven't hit. When, we, when we've hit, we haven't pitched. Um, yeah, I, I, I can't put my finger on one thing. There's, there's been a lot of positives to look at, um, and there's also a lot of negatives to look at. Uh, you know, I think as athletes, you, you really need to focus on the positive and, and, and not, let your, you know, not let yourself get too downtrodden and um, move forward and you know, do everything you can to – be the best version of yourself, whatever that is, and help the team win. You talked about not getting that kind of chase on your, uh, your swing yeah. and chasing your offensive stuff, and maybe you're not hiding the, hiding the ball mm-hmm. as much. Has that been an issue at times in the past at all? Yes. Uh, everything has been an issue for me at times in the past. <laughs> I've played a long time. <laughs> <laughs> so does that give you, give you confidence that you can figure it out and make the adjustments on uh, Yes. I'm, I mean, I have a lot of uh, information to, to, to draw from in my past. Um, it doesn't. It doesn't lighten the load for me mentally on what happened today at all but um you know i think it, it gives me a better starting point on on where to go to to fix things so um yeah like i said you, know, you gotta move forward gotta work hard and um you know move on